In Islamic theology, God is the all-powerful and all-knowing creator, sustainer, ordainer and judge of everything in existence. Islam emphasizes that God is strictly singular, unique and inherently one, all-merciful and omnipotent. According to Islamic teachings, God exists without place and according to the Quran, no vision can grasp him, but his grasp is over all vision. He is above all comprehension, yet is acquainted with all things. God, as referenced in the Quran, is the only God. Definition of God is given in the Surat 112 Val Iqlis it says, He is God, who is, one, God, the eternal refuge. He neither begets nor is born, nor is there to him any equivalent. In Islam, there are 99 known names of God, each of which evoke a distinct attribute of God. All these names refer to Allah, the supreme in all comprehensive divine name. Among the 99 names of God, the most familiar and frequent of these names are, the compassionate, and, the merciful. Creation and ordering of the universe is seen as an act of prime mercy for which all creatures sing God's glories and bear witness to God's unity and, lordship. God responds to those in need or distress whenever they call. Above all, God guides humanity to the right way, the holy ways. Islamic theology makes a distinction between the attributes of God and the divine essence. Islam also has a concept of negative theology, known as tatali, negation, stating that God exists without a place and has no resemblance to his creation. Names Allah Allah is the Arabic term used by Muslims for the one God, while ILAH is the term used for a deity or a God in general. It is related to Lahar in Aramaic, the language of Jesus. Other names God is described and referred in the Quran and Hadith by certain names or attributes. The Quran refers to the attributes of God as God's most beautiful names. According to Gerhard Boering, they are traditionally enumerated as 99 in number to which is added as the highest name, the supreme name of God, Allah. The Locus Classicus for listing the divine names in the literature of Quranic commentary is 17 to 110, call upon God, or call upon the merciful, whichsoever you call upon, to God belong the most beautiful names, and also 59 to 22 minus 24, which includes a cluster of more than a dozen divine epithets, Gerhard Boering. God and God's attributes The most commonly used names for God in Islam are the Most High, the Most Glorious, the Ever-Forgiving, the Ever-Providing, the Ever-Living, the Self-Subsisting by whom all subsist, the Lord and Cherisher of the Worlds, the Ultimate Truth, the Eternal Lord, the Sustainer, the Source of Peace. Non-Arab Muslims may or may not use different names as much as Allah, for instance, God in English, Tanri in Turkish, Yakush in Berber, and Zot in Albanian, Koda in Persian, and also as a loanword in Bengali, Urdu, Sindhi, Hindi and several South Asian languages. Phrases and expressions There are numerous conventional phrases and expressions invoking God. Attributes Oneness Islam's most fundamental concept is a strict monotheism called Tawhid, affirming that God is one and incomparable. The basic creed of Islam, the Shahada, involves, or, I testify there are no deities other than God alone. The Quran asserts the existence of a single and absolute truth that transcends the world, a unique and indivisible being who is independent of the entire creation. Say, he is God, the one and only, God, the eternal, absolute, he begetteth not, nor is he begotten, and there is none like unto him. Quran, Surah 112, Ayat 1 to 4 Thy Lord is self-sufficient, full of mercy. If it were his will, he could destroy you, and in your place appoint whom he will as your successors, even as he raised you up from the posterity of other people. Quran, Surah 6, Ayah 133 Muslims reject the Christian doctrine of the Trinity and divinity of Jesus, comparing it to polytheism. In Islam, God is beyond all comprehension or equal and does not resemble any of his creations in any way.
Islam is not an iconodule religion. Any kind of visualization of God is forbidden. According to Vincent J. Cornell, the Quran also provides a monist image of God by describing the reality as a unified whole, with God being a single concept that would describe or ascribe all existing things. He is the first and the last, the evident and the imminent, and he has full knowledge of all things. Some Muslims have however vigorously criticized interpretations that would lead to a monist view of God for what they see as blurring the distinction between the creator and the creature, and its incompatibility with the monotheism of Islam. The indivisibility of God implies the indivisibility of God's sovereignty which in turn leads to the conception of a universe as a just and coherent moral universe rather than an existential and moral chaos. Similarly the Quran rejects the binary modes of thinking such as the idea of duality of God by arguing that both good and evil generate from God's creative act and that the evil forces have no power to create anything. God in Islam is a universal God rather than a local, tribal or parochial one, an absolute who integrates all affirmative values and brooks no evil. Torhide constitutes the foremost article of the Muslim profession. The deification or worship of anyone or anything other than God is the biggest sin in Islam. The entirety of the Islamic teaching rests on the principle of Torhide. Creator Allah is the creator of the universe and all the creatures in it. All praise is due to Allah, creator of the heavens and the earth, who made the angels messengers having wings, two or three or four. He increases in creation what he wills. Indeed, Allah is over all things competent. Quran, Surah 35 Ayat 1 And it is we who have constructed the heavens with might and verily, it is we who are steadily expanding it. Quran, Surah 51 ADH Diet 51 to 47 We created man from an extract of clay. Then we made him as a drop in a place of settlement, firmly fixed. Then we made the drop into an alakar. Then we made the alakar into a mudga. Then we made out of that mudga bones. Then we clothed the bones with flesh, and then we brought it forth as another creation. So blessed be Allah, the best of creators. Quran, Surah al-Mu'min and 23.12 And God said, O mankind, be dutiful to your Lord, who created you from a single person and from him he created his wife, and from them both he created many men and women. Quran, Surah 4-1, IESA said, And verily Allah is my Lord and your Lord, so worship him, that is the straight path. Tafsir at Tabari, Quran, Surah Mayam 1936 Mercy The most commonly used names in the primary sources are Al-Rahman, meaning, most compassionate, and Al-Rahim, meaning, most merciful. God is said to love forgiving, with a hadith stating God would replace a sinless people with one who sinned but still asked repentance. Also the word Rahman comes from the word Ram which means the womb of the mother so it is a comparison between God's mercy to the mercy of the mother, with her child. His mercy takes many forms from as he say in the Quran, and my mercy embraces all things, 7 to 156. This is shown by a in Muslim narrated from Abu. Herrera said the prophet said, Allah has 100 parts of mercy, of which he sent down one between the jinn, mankind, the animals and the insects by means of which they are compassionate and merciful to one another, and by means of which wild animals are kind to their offspring. And Allah has kept back ninety-nine parts of mercy with which to be merciful to his slaves of the day of resurrection. Also God's mercy according to Islamic theology is what gets a person into paradise. According to Hadith in Shahi al-Bukhari, no one's deeds will ever admit him to paradise. They said, not even you, O Messenger of Allah, he said, no, not even me, unless Allah showers me with his mercy. So try to be near to perfection, and no one should wish for death, he is either doing good so he will do more of that or he is doing wrong so he may repent. Omniscience The Quran describes God as being fully aware of everything that happens in the universe. 
including private thoughts and feelings, and asserts that one can not hide anything from God, and, O oh Muhammad, you are not engaged in any matter or recite any of the Quran and you people do not do any deed except that we are witness over you when you are involved in it, and not absent from your Lord is any part of an atom's weight within the earth or within the heaven or anything smaller than that or greater but that it is in a clear register. Quran, Surah 10, Ayat 61 And indeed we have created man, and we know what his own self whispers to him, and we are nearer to him than his jugular vein. Quran, Surah Qaf, 50-16 Royal we, the word we in the Quran does not mean that God is plural. The word we which were used in the Quran are majestic plurals relationship with creation. As in the other Abrahamic religions, God is believed to communicate with his creation via revelations given to prophets. The Quran in particular is believed by Muslims to be the verbatim word of God as revealed to Muhammad. Hadith are the records of Muhammad's sayings and example, and Hadith Qudzi is a subcategory of Hadith, which Muslims regard as the words of God repeated by Muhammad. According to Ali ibn Muhammad al-Jurjani, the Hadith Qudzi differ from the Quran in that the former are expressed in Muhammad's words, whereas the latter are the direct words of God. Muslims believe that creation of everything in the universe is brought into being by God's sheer command, be, and it is, and that the purpose of existence is to worship God. He is viewed as a personal God who responds whenever a person in need or distress calls him. There are no intermediaries, such as clergy, to contact God who states in the Quran, it was we who created man, and we know what dark suggestions his soul makes to him. For we are nearer to him than jugular vein, Muhammad al-Bukhari, in his Sahih Bukhari, narrates a hadith Qudsi, that God says, I am as my servant thinks I am. Allah's relationship with his servants is like a loving master who overlooks their sins but asks them to repent. If they don't repent before death then his wrath will overtake them. The relationship between Allah and his servants can be summed up in one verse. Declare unto my slaves that truly I am the oft-forgiving the most merciful, and that my torment is indeed the most painful torment. 1549-50 Comparative Theology Islamic theology identifies God as described in the Quran as the same God of Israel who covenanted with Abraham. It rejects previous Meccan religion's belief that Allah has daughters. Islam and Judaism alike reject the trinity of Nisi and Christianity which was a development peculiar to questions of Christology in early Christianity. This has led to the medieval Christian view of early Islam as one of several non-Trinitarian Christian heresies. The identification of God both in Islam and in Christianity with the God of Abraham has been used to argue for a limited amount of mutual recognition. Among the Abrahamic religions on the part of Ludovico Maracci, the confessor of Pope Innocent XI, who wrote in 1734, that both Muhammad and those among his followers who are reckoned orthodox, had and continue to have just and true notions of God and his attributes, appears so plain from the Quran itself and all the Muslim laws, that it would be loss of time to refute those who suppose the God of Muhammad to be different from the true God. Bibliography al Haki, Allah's Names and Attributes, Iska, ISBN 1-930409-03-6, Hulasi, Ahmed, Allah, as introduced by Muhammad, Kitsan, 10th ed, ISBN 975-7557-41-2, Meheri of Deen, R. Bawa, Asmar al Husna, The 99 Beautiful Names of Allah, The Bawa Meheri of Dean Fellowship, ISBN 0 914390 13 9. Ian Richard, Allah Transcendent, Studies in the Structure and Semiotics of Islamic Philosophy, Theology and Cosmology, Rutledge, ISBN 0 7007 0287 3.